So we're just starting with our warm up here. Just a few things that I would like to go over. You should be having your heart rate monitor on. I've got mine on here, get the strap on, have your watch set up. We're gonna be doing two sets of 15 reps, two minute cardiovascular intervals with some fillers in between. There'll be like 30 second short, 30 second short bursts. Make sure that you have your water with you. Make sure you have your towel and that you have your equipment with you. Today, the equipment that we'll be using will be a mat, a med ball, and the Swiss ball, you have that with your prehab kit. If you don't have one, you can get one through uh, IF online. You can order a kit. Um, other than that, we're just gonna make sure we get our heart rates up. We're gonna be getting our heart rates up into the 75 to 85 percent 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 zone. Uh, and other than that, we want to make sure that there's a few things. We have a intermediate and a beginner. If this is your first time to the advanced session, be aware that we want to be able to understand terminology, technology. With what we're going to be using, we're going to be using terms. We're going to be using going from more unstable surfaces. So you have done stable surfaces in the past with Mark or James. If you haven't worked with them before and you haven't done any of those sessions, I highly recommend you go back and look into those sessions and go through a few of those with IAP Online. Uh, other than that, we're going to get ready to go today, and we're going to finish up here. I got about another minute here of warming up, getting the heart rate up. We're going to step off the bike after this minute and we're going to start doing more of a dynamic workout we're just going to get the body moving and then we're going to get right back into the workout with actually the med balls and soon the full body routine upper body and lower body make sure if you're on a bike like myself shoulders are relaxed you want to have a good posture making sure that you're just starting to get a little bit of a sweat going on you want to feel your body temperature warming up you don't want to be getting off this bike cold and getting into these routines I've just got 30 more seconds here to go. Again, if I haven't mentioned, if you don't have a heart rate monitor, I highly recommend you get one. You can only get the, you can get way better results with having the heart rate monitor. Good, we got 10 more seconds. All right, stepping off the bike. Gonna go forward reverse lunge coming down alternating legs shoulders are back knee does not travel past the toe and your heel does not lift when you step forward starting gonna use the mat stepping over the mat one two three four good five six relax those shoulders Ten, eleven, twelve. Good work. We're gonna go two more, and done. Awesome. Second time grabbing the med ball, alternating our legs, holding the arms out, drawing the knee up. Try not to lean back when you do it. You want to hold it straight out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six more. One, two, three, four, five, and good. We're going to go down onto our mats now. All I want you to do is we're going to go into a push up position. We're going to have the hands directly under our shoulders, and we're going to come up onto our toes. We're gonna hold in a neutral spine position, drawing the belly in, should have a neutral spine. We don't wanna be lifting our head up, holding the neck stable. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take four little steps forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's one rep. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's two. Three, four. Two, three, four. That's three reps. Making sure you feel the belly button being pulled in. If you feel more stress in your lower back region than anywhere else in your body, you need to come down to your knees and continue to go from here 
or you need to make sure that again, you've gone and used the intermediate level. You should be able to do this by now. Awesome. That's good. We're at six, seven, eight, nine. I want you to think about having a cup of water on the lower portion of your back. And as you're walking with your hands, you don't want to be moving the hips anywhere like this. You want that water from stopping from spilling on your body. 11, 12, last three guys. 13, 14, last rep. 15, nicely done. We're gonna come back up. We're gonna go through that cycle one more time and then back onto the bike. We're gonna go forward reverse lunge, coming down, alternating legs, shoulders are back, knee does not travel past the toe and your heel does not lift when you step forward. Starting, gonna use the mat, stepping over the mat. One, two, three. Four, good. Five, six. Relax those shoulders. Eight, Ten. Eleven. Twelve, good work. We're gonna go two more. And done, awesome. Second time grabbing the med ball. Alternating our legs, holding the arms out, drawing the knee up. Try not to lean back when you do it. You wanna hold it straight out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six more. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have our last time down on our push-ups. Down onto the mat. Hands directly under the shoulders. Up on our toes. Four steps forward. Four. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, good work, halfway there guys, eight, again not spilling that water on your lower back, you don't want to spill that water, that's a good cue to think about not moving the hips. We have five more to go. One. Two. Three. Four, last time. And five, nicely done. Gonna head back to the bike. We're gonna go for three, two minutes. You should feel your body temperature warm already. We've worked all the muscle groups that we're gonna need for this session. Should feel sweat going on. Should have the heart rate up in the zone that we're looking for. Hopefully about 70, 75%. We're gonna ride. Hopefully get it up a little higher. I want you to remember to relax your shoulders while you're on the bike. We just did a lot of shoulder exercises there. Might feel a little tense. Just try to relax, catch that breath, pump with the legs. Why don't you think push down and pull up with the bike if you have clips with your pedals if you're a rider. Make sure you have enough water.
30 seconds in. Make sure you find your comfortable spot. If you're a cyclist and you want to ride down and you have your, you have your bike and you're set up, it's perfect to ride like this if you want to. If you've got some sport specific athletes out there that want more of an advanced routine, if you want to ride upright, that's good. Shoulders are relaxed, postures up. Both ways are good. You might hear that some people say you don't want to do this, but if you're sport specific, it works well for you. You still got to think about dropping those shoulders out, getting yourself in the proper position. That's one minute. We got one more minute to go. Good breathing, drawing in the belly button with all the exercises. You'll hear me cueing that over and over and over again. It's one of the most important is you want to draw the belly button in. You want to make sure while you're doing these exercises that you don't feel stress in your lower back. We got our last 15 seconds here. All right, first exercise we're gonna do, is we're gonna grab that med ball, and we're gonna do push-ups. We're gonna come down into a push-up position. One hand on the ball, one hand on the ground. We're gonna come up onto our toes. We're gonna stay on this one side, and we're gonna come down, 90 degree angle with the arms and the elbows, with the hand that's on the ground, and up. One, two, Breathing out on the up phase. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We'll be standing up, going into an upper body. We're gonna do the other arm on the other time through. We'll be recycling through this twice today. We're just gonna take the med ball. We're gonna hang on to it. Stepping over the mat. You're just gonna step backwards, alternating legs. One, two, three, four. Same cues when you're stepping back. Five, as what you did when you were doing the forward lunge. We wanna make sure that the knees do not travel over the toe. The spine stays neutral, the head stays up. You don't want to arch your back. You don't want to lift the shoulders. Six left. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Nicely done. You're going to be using the Swiss ball or body ball. We're going to hold a plank. You should have done a plank by now from the stable surface. We're moving to an unstable surface. Same rules apply as when we're down on the mat. Elbows are down, on the toes, neutral spine, neutral head. Now we're gonna go from that type of position to less stable and we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold this for 45 seconds. Just holding yourself still. You don't wanna feel like it's going all over the place. Again, you don't want to be drooping in the back. You want to keep it neutral. If you have a mirror where you're able to see yourself and you can look to the side and check your posture, that'd be great. That's basically a good cue is if I was standing up on my feet, up erect like normal standing, my back should look exactly the same. It shouldn't look like this. It shouldn't look hunched. It should be totally still. Knees are slightly bent. Shoulders are somewhat relaxed. Good job. We got... 10 seconds left, starting now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. We're gonna do a 30 second bout here. 30 second cardiovascular. We're just gonna do toe taps. All I want you to do is starting with the mat, going the length of your mat. We're gonna tap the toes here and move sideways. I want you to move the arms while you're doing it. There and back. Light on the toes. Good. 30 seconds. 20 seconds to go. Good job, guys.
20 seconds in, 10 seconds to go. The end of this, we're going through that same cycle one more time. We're gonna start with the push up and go right in to the med ball reverse lunge and into the plank. And time. Nicely done. So, whatever arm you had on the med ball the first time, put the other arm on. Neutral spine, neutral chin, on the toes, 15 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Breathing out when you push up, 10. Breathe out, 11, 12, 13, 14. Last one, 15. Awesome. Keeping that med ball standing over the mat. Reverse lunge, holding it chest height, stepping back. One, two, three, four. Good work. Five, six. Make sure you go all the way to the ground just before that knee touches or just a nice light tap. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Again, neutral spine. Relax the neck. One more rep. And good. Last time with that Swiss ball. Holding, the self, holding yourself still, ball doesn't move, body doesn't move, knees are slightly bent, abs are drawn in, neutral spine, shoulders to somewhat relaxed, we don't want to be hunching up like this, we don't want to be rounding our back like this, and we don't want to be sagging. Well done, we're 15 seconds in, we got 30 seconds to go. Twenty-five. I don't want you looking up like this either. That creates tension in the upper neck, in the traps. You want to keep the chin in tight. We don't walk around all day looking up like this. We want to see what's exactly in front of us. We want to strengthen the muscles and the posture in that position. We have ten seconds to go. Four, three, two. And one, well done. We're going 30 seconds on the mat and back onto the bike. Toe tap, second time through. We're gonna put the arms like this. We're gonna switch opposite arm and leg and move across the mat. 30 seconds. You should have a good sweat going on by now. Feel the body temperature up. Relax the shoulders when you're doing this exercise. Shouldn't feel like you're shrugging or drawing. Think about scooping in a way the elbow joints. Just want to kind of move that elbow, swinging it underneath. Whoops, there we go. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice, good job. Back onto the bike. Make sure that we have our water. We're gonna go two minutes on the bike. We're gonna go 30 seconds at a nice steady pace. And then we're gonna go 30 seconds where we pick it up just a little bit. Starting now, two minutes now, relaxing our shoulders, getting ourselves set. Shoulders are good, abs are good, not rounding that back. Had our water, catch your breath. Ten more seconds, and then we're gonna pick up that pace. I want you to feel like you're driving through the legs, keeping the hips still. You don't wanna be driving and moving the body. You wanna keep yourself centered as much as possible. Drive that power through. And 30 seconds, picking it up. We're not going crazy, but we just wanna pick up the pace that we're going right now. I want you to think about driving through your heels. Keep that body straight. This is another good example of utilizing your core. When you're driving with the pedals and you see people pounding away, you're actually losing energy. You're wasting energy, you're not driving straight through through the pedal. Well done, keep it up. 
Shoulders are still relaxed, guys, even though you're pounding there. You still got to stay relaxed in those shoulders. Conserve energy, train smart. And time. We're going to back that off. 30 seconds. This is a time to take a sip of water again if you need to. You can sit yourself up, have a sip of the water, catch your breath. We're still staying in that 75 to 80, 85% target heart rate zone. You should know your zones by now. We have five more seconds. And picking up that pace again. Push pull if you can do that. If you got clips or if you got your feet in the pedals, you want to push down with one leg while we pull up with the other. That helps engage your hamstrings. Well done, keep it up. 10 more seconds to go, guys. Shoulders relaxed, tummy tight. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. Perfect. All right, we're moving to using the med ball again. We're gonna be doing push-ups again but they're gonna be a little tougher this time. All the routine's gonna get a little tougher as we go today. Very modified things that will just make it a little tougher for you to do. We're gonna put the hand on the ball again. We're going for 15 reps. The only difference what we're gonna do on this one is when we go down, we're gonna hold for a second. We're just gonna go from here, we come down, hold, and up. One, down slow, and up. Two, up. Three, make sure you're breathing out. Four, when you come up. Five. Six, I want you to think about your chest as what's lowering you down. Seven, eight, nine. A lot of people just want to drop down fast and do the work in one direction. The muscles work in both directions and you get better results on the down phase for this exercise. Up, that's 10. Up, 11. Neutral spine still, 12. Thinking about the abs, the low back, 13. Holding. 14, holding, 15. Nicely done. We're gonna keep that med ball. We're gonna do the reverse lunge like we did before, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back with the right leg. When you step with the right leg, I actually want you to turn your body to the left side. Adding torso rotation, a little bit of stability and balance, proprioception, working the feet. So here we go, same rules apply. When you step back, we're here. 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees at the knee, neutral spine, chin, not rounding, not collapsing, okay? And turning the body. From here, step back, and a slight turn. One, same leg, two, good, three. Don't fool yourself by moving the ball like this, okay? Four, you wanna keep the ball in front of the chest, they move together, shoulders, chest, and ball, they're a unit. There you go. Good job. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more, and then we're switching legs. One, two, three, four, last one, five. Nicely done. Same thing. Gonna step back. First one might feel a little funny, the body got used to twisting one way, might feel a little unstable on your first rep. Take your time with it, step back, slightly turn, come back up. Slightly turn, two, three. Notice my head, my shoulders, and my chest all move with that ball. Six, seven, I'm going down to my knees at the knee joint, gets to 90 degrees, nine, 10, last five, one, two, three, four, last one, and five, nicely done. Set the med ball down, go into the Swiss ball again for a plank, the modification for this one, is you're actually gonna move it. So we're already on an unstable surface in your first set. Unstable surface, trying to hold that surface still. Now what we're gonna do, still holding, slightly loose knees, not sagging, not arching. Chin is tight, all I want you to do is move that ball out just a little. One, two, 
three. Try not to push with your toes and fool yourself. I see this sometimes. You're actually not doing what we're actually shooting for here. If you move properly, it doesn't have to be very far, okay? As you get better, you'll be able to go further. And you'll notice as I go too far, I start to break as well. So that's my limits. I just want to go here and back. Everybody has their limits, and through practice, you can get better. That's nine. 10, so I'm trying to go as far as I can without my body giving in or more stress on my back. 11, you should feel when your arms go forward, your abdominals get a little extra work, a little lower. That little area, you guys feel a little tougher to get, well, that's where your actual core is. There's a muscle in there that helps stabilize. That's the muscle you wanna feel, slightly under the belly button. Last rep, well done. Good job. All right. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna do lateral touches. We're gonna jump from side to side. I want you to think about absorbing it. You don't have to go very fast. I just want you to jump. One, two, get the whole body involved. Three, four, we're gonna do 30 of these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Absorbing, still good posture. Head is up, 12. 13, 14, 15, good work, 16, 17, 18, 19, 10 more, one, two, notice my legs when I'm landing, three, we don't want this coming over like this, your hips giving out, core is giving out, stabilize, absorb, six left, one, two, three, Four, five, last rep, and six. Nicely done. Back onto the cardio. We're gonna do the 30 and 30 again. 30 seconds at 75% of the target heart rate zone. 30 seconds picking up that pace. Get some water in yourself while you can. Two minutes, starting right now. You guys are doing well. So what you should see what you should see is the exercises that I'm doing, they're pretty much the same as what, you've, what you'll see in the beginners in advance, but they just start getting a little bit more technical. I know people a lot of times, they just wanna get into the harder stuff thinking they're doing themselves a favor. Make sure that you do it right. Do it right from the beginning, work from the inside out. 30 seconds, we're picking up that pace. We're working from the inside out. What I mean by that is the exercise that we have at IF Online, are set so that you know everything's working properly internally. We are so caught up on the external surface of what we see with our physical bodies, we don't realize that we've got little intrinsic, little small muscles that do such a huge job for us. If we don't have those working properly, you're just setting yourself up for self-sabotage. And backing off again, 30 more seconds. That's why when you fall sometimes or you slip, and you don't even know why it is, you pick something up and you're like, man, I tweaked my back, what happened? That's probably, in most cases, something's happened with the body. The body started to compensate because little muscles inside weren't being worked properly. Or a stretching routine. You just needed to stretch a certain muscle and people didn't stretch after the routine. You know how common it is after your workout, you're done and you just wanna leave and you don't stay and do the stretch. I'm telling you, that goes miles for you. Last 30 seconds, picking up the pace. Shoulders are still relaxed. Abs are tight. Good job, guys. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, second time with the exercises we've just done. Using the med ball, making sure to pause at the bottom. Using the other hand, remember, down we go. Up into neutral spine position. Holding, abs are tight, down, hold, up. Breathe out on the up phase. Two, it's easy for me to remember because I'm talking out loud, so I'm breathing out every time I come up or when I make a count. For yourself, I would suggest emphasizing it. If you're by yourself at home, it's no big deal and it's a great skill to get. As you breathe out, try to blow that belly, pull that belly button in. Eight, hold, nine. Hold, 10, hold, 
11. Last four. We're almost there, guys. 12. 13. 14. Last one. 15. Good job. All right. Reverse lunge, holding that med ball, turning the torso. Knowing that you got a good distance. When I step back, I tend to line up my knee slightly behind my heel. I'm not directly behind it. I'm not directly like this. I'm beside it. Just like when we stand, feet are shoulder width apart. What I find is when you step back, if you're losing your balance, you might tend to do this. As you draw back, you go onto your midline. Now you're like on a tightrope. We don't want that. We're going to be able to go straight back, still keeping six to eight inches apart, shoulder width, okay? So this far back from here and still two fists from the space in between the legs, roughly. Give you a little bit of a guideline there. Stepping over the mat, ball on the chest, stepping back, turning the opposite way. If your right leg goes back, you turn to the left. Whole body. Two. Three. Four. Five, good. Six. Hope you're working up a sweat, because I am. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Last four. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Awesome. Fifteen. Switching legs. Another little cue when you're stepping back. I don't want you to step back and all of a sudden put all that weight on that back leg. We're predominantly working the front leg. So as I step back, I'm in control with this leg and I turn my body, okay? So instead of this, and you feel all that weight and you're like, oh, I feel it in my leg stepping back. Slightly keep the weight forward. So as I step back, my body slightly tilts, still keeps a neutral spine, comes down, turns. Instead of back. All right, here we go. Stepping back, turning. One, two, three, four. It's a little bit more of a challenge holding the med ball. So if you're feeling that in your shoulders or in the upper traps, give them a little bit of a roll, hold them back and down. Abs are tight. Eight, nine, Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done, you guys. Setting the ball down. Second time with that Swiss ball. Inning out with the arms. By now, you might hear a common theme here every time I'm doing these exercises. You guys will be done here doing it on your own maybe one day and you're going to be hearing my voice. Knees slightly bent, back neutral, no sagging, no arching, shoulders somewhat relaxed, neutral spine, chin in tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And remember, as I pointed out, nine. If you can't move as far as me, that's all right. This is good. This is movement. Awesome. All right, last time with those lateral jumps, lateral hops. Remembering about the hips, not letting that foot sag behind. I'm gonna show you on a side angle this time when you jump, you can go over your mat too. If you don't wanna go this distance, right? That's a bit, bit much to start with, that much of a distance. We just wanna stay small distance. To get you a side view of my posture, my knees, I land one, two, and I'm just over the mat. If you need to start like this, that's good, because what are we focusing on again? Doing everything properly, okay? So we're gonna start now. I'm gonna use my mat. Jump, one, two. And if you notice, I'm not jumping a huge distance, because I wanna know that I'm doing it right. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, all the way to 30, 15 each side, 18, 
Absorbing it, 20. 22. You guys feeling the sides of the butts yet? Top of the legs, 24. 26. 28. And 30, awesome, good job. Back to the bike guys, get your water. First 30 seconds, get those legs turning over, get the tension right on your bike. Keep the body moving. All right, 20 more seconds at this pace. Ten more seconds, guys. We're doing great. Three, two, one. Picking up the pace as we're hammering down on those pedals. It doesn't mean go nuts and lose the whole posture and stability in your body. It means hammer through, staying as tight as you can, as stable as you can. Well done. Shoulders relaxed. This is your time to think about what you're doing. Not go ballistic, think about doing it. Training hard, but training smart. We got five more seconds. And backing it off a bit. Just a little tip for you guys. How important water actually is. 1% decrease in hydration in your body can lead to a 10% decrease in your body's ability. You lose the ability to function at the same level. And the thing is, at one degree, you guys don't even really notice it, or we don't even notice it, I should say. All right, last 30 seconds. By the time our body tells us that we're thirsty, man, way too late. So, drinking as much as you can, as often as you can. If you're not used to it, yeah, you may have to go to the washroom a little bit at first, but just like everything else, the body is an amazing machine. It'll adapt. As long as you're taking in the limits and the quantities that you need for your activity, you should be fine. We got 10 more seconds. Remember again, I keep saying it. Shoulders, posture, no slouching, nice position. And time, well done. All right, another new group of exercises. Taking the same idea with the med ball. Making it a little bit more difficult again, a little more challenging. So now we're adding the strength component that we've already been using, stability component, and now we're adding coordination component. We're gonna move that med ball from side to side. After we do a rep, we're gonna come up, and we're gonna move it over, down, up, and do another push up. We're gonna move it over, down, up. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this position. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna move the ball over. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna go down, move the ball over. Switch, we're gonna hold that pace, over, up, over, up, good, good. Breathing out on the up phase, perfect. You may find you wanna put your feet a little bit wider, I didn't note, it'll be a little more difficult like this, a little wider when you move them, get the push up in, Switching, good, switching. But if you need to take your time with it and move that ball over like this, move your hand, that's fine. The objective is just the coordination, okay? Keeping the body as still as possible, switching the hands. Once you're set, do your push-up. We're gonna go 10 more. One, we don't need to go all the way down, all the way like this to our face to the ground either, okay? You wanna stay, then a healthy range of the shoulder joints, 90 degrees, gives you a good enough result in the body when you take a high risk, low risk approach to doing your push up, all the way down has a higher probability of injury on the, sh injury on the shoulder capsule and the results are not significant enough for strength gains. There's too much of a probability of injury instead. Last two reps, remember to breathe out, down, breathing in, up, breathing out. Well done. All right. 
Next exercise. We're gonna take the Swiss ball for the last one. We're gonna put our foot on it. So now the exercises on this last segment are more coordination based. You're gonna rest your foot on it. You wanna have your shoelace on that ball. So if it's your first time having a little bit of trouble and you have a bike, you can use the bike for a little bit of balance. And we put the shoelace on that ball, hold ourselves up, still a good neutral spine position, chin in tight, and we're gonna go down, and when you do, why don't you think about flexing that bum and pushing out, so you're using your hamstrings and your bum to push out and come up. Not going very far, okay? Push out, because this is a great way, as I was pointing out before on the last lunge, if you wanna put that weight on that foot in the back when you were stepping backwards, you go to do that with this ball, gonna roll away on you or your foot's gonna fall to the side okay so I'm gonna stay right here close to the bike okay actually I'll come here so you guys can see a straight on view okay so I get my foot up holding myself up and I'm just gonna squeeze that glute one squeeze two the one in the back three 15 reps four five at this level you should already be capable of standing on one foot. Ooh, as I almost fall, how about that, huh? Six, Good. seven. Another little tip that I've learned. Eight, nine, and we'll get 10, five more. I'll show the side view on my other leg. Four, Three, two, and one. Awesome. Um, next exercise, we're gonna come to that other leg. The next time around, actually, we're gonna do them both actually right now. We're gonna go side view, as I was showing you, as I was explaining to you. We're here. Balance, again, bike if you need it. Squeezing that glute. Knee does not travel past the toe. So, we don't want them like this. We want back, I'm gonna move my foot a little bit on that ball. Okay, shoelaces, squeeze, not very deep. Knee still stays right at the same position or slightly behind my toe. And back up, one, two. If you have a mirror in front of you, this is one of those situations when you first start doing some balance work like this, it might not help you. With the mirror, your eyes see everything around in your peripheral vision. If anything's moving around you, your eyes see it and your balance goes. So if you are gonna use the mirror, keep yourself focused on one thing in that mirror. Try not to look at anything else around there. As you notice how I'm not moving my head very much, I'm just looking straight ahead. I'm fixated on, my eyes are fixated on one thing. There you go. Eight, abs are tight. Nine, abs need to stay tight because when I go back and I squeeze my glute, I don't want excessive arching. I want to be able to stabilize, use my, my hip extensors, my hamstrings and glutes, firing them, yet my core, my body's ability in the pelvis is able to stay stable. 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, 15, well done. Sticking with the Swiss ball. Going down into the bridge, her plank. Now we've gone stable, we've gone in and out. Now we're gonna go circle. Again, doesn't need to be big. Just a little motion one way, a little motion the other way. Okay, so we're coming down. Neutral position, knee slightly bent. Circle, one, other way. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, halfway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, last five guys, five, 
four, holding a steady pace, three, two, one. Well done. Back to the bike. I just want to point out, if you might have felt your calves or your foot, the foot that was on the ground when you were doing, make sure you get your water, get yourself set up. We're going to our 30 seconds, starting now. Make sure you get your water. Um, when your foot was on the uh, ground there, you might have felt a little bit of burning in the calf or the foot. That's proprioception work. That's the work. That's the work that you need. When you're on there, it's gonna help your balance even more and help you in sports and agility and movement. That's it for today. We're gonna to start doing the cool down portion here. I want you to ride the bike. As I noted before, you guys did great. I'll see you next week.